Hello and welcome to another video on Earth Dragon Art. Today I wanted to share with you a redrawing of a competition piece I did for the channel Jazza, formerly known as Strawberry Jazza, where you had to create a pop culture character in an upgraded form. And the competition was called Level Cap. Previously on the drawing I did a version of Knight Rider with tracks, a bit more like a tank kind of character. But in my imagination, I had a different idea in mind, and that's what this video is for. Um, I hope you enjoy this video as it goes through, and I will catch you at the end for a closeout and a conclusion to this video. Don't forget, if you do like what you see, do feel free to like it and share with people that might enjoy this, and I'll catch you towards the end. Catch you later. Let's put these away for now, and let's work on this night one that I was talking about. Right, so. so let's find the reference stuff I did before so here we go nope nope okay so that was one of them that was two of them here's my original Knight Rider which I'll need it as reference reference and I need that as reference as well and uh, yeah okay all right. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on the big bit of paper. Uh, so if I can move this out of the way, get a nice big clean white bit of paper. Okay. Right. I wonder. If I was hoping it was going to stay up there. Uh, I have a plan. I have a plan. Good old faithful blue tack. So that's that one. And that one. In fact, I'll tell you what, let's do it so that it's got space. There we are. Alright. So. So we'll spend the next hour doing this this guy and we're going to try and get it get as much concept done as I can with the idea in place which was to basically have a monster truck idea so um, before I do any of the design work I'm going to do something very very basic which is boxes and this is just purely for the perspective side of it Make it quite long. And so this is just literally for perspective. And then the wheels are going to be sort of down here somewhere. So I think the car bit is probably too big because the wheels need to get in there. Um, so let's shrink this a bit, make it a bit smaller. Because what it is, is I want the wheels, when the wheels come into play, I want it to be on the page where possible. That's sort of what I'm going with. And I think that needs to be a lot more. And I'm being incredibly, incredibly loose. So the wheels are there. That's it's more like it. I know they don't look like wheels right now, but go with me on this, go with me. This is just purely to get the perspective. Just, especially when you're doing eclipses, very hard to get eclipses looking right. If you haven't got the perspective in place. Um, 
that much I can tell you free of charge. That's going to go further away than it's going to be about here. So, I know it doesn't look much at the minute, you're just going to have to go with me. Okay, so then we'll do another box on top. In fact, let me go. Uh, let me get these other construction lines out so it doesn't distract me from where we are. Let's see. Because all of this. is wrong. Okay, so. So the box here. To about there. Now, just a note, this is a much bigger version of the, this car than I did on the previous iteration. That, the other one was done on an A4 piece of paper, whereas this time I'm actually doing it on um, A3. So I'm trying to allow myself a much more space to construct this and get the detail right. But at the moment I'm doing it very polygonish. You know, like you would in a computer generated um, situation and I'm also trying to remember that it's going off into the distance as well okay so hopefully you can sort of see well I don't know if you can but you hopefully you can see the shape or at least the initial shape of it anyway Okay, so add in a bit more detail now. Now the front nose is a bit further out, so we'll just add that in. that way I can link it up to the top there and you start to see the shape of the car Unlike most cars, it doesn't have much of a curve on the side. It's very subtle curve on the side, and even down here, it's not massively curvaceous. And now there is. I'm trying not to put too much detail in just yet. Because I want to make sure the angle and everything else is right first. Now hopefully you can start to see the Night Rider car coming out now. You can start to see some of the shape appearing. Now there's another little line in front, so. I don't know what you would call that bit, but there's just that little bit of a lip in the front. So I'm just trying to add that in. And slowly by slowly, just adding a bit of, you know, extra detail. And 
know someone's calling that one. Fortunately, they're going to have to bear with me right now because I am streaming and I will have to call them back later. Sorry. But I'm sure they can wait an hour. In fact, I just noticed that the car, base of the car, has got a lot more body on it. And as I say, hopefully you can see the night rider car starting to show. Now the back of the car has this little weird little window effect going on. screen <coughs> now a little split in the middle this is where the car gets a bit um, look at asymmetrical where it's not quite the same on both sides so there's this little sort of nose thing there right in the front and then there's other side side of notes there the thing about this particular version of my car is it's I'm trying to be a bit more detailed with it than I was with the previous one. It's interesting because Night Riders, I'm a big Lamborghini fan, and the Night Rider car does not have anywhere near the Lamborghini effect. And the thing I've noticed here is the front of the car kind of comes out sort of in a almost like a triangular shape so let's try and get that in there and again I'm just trying to really be really light with the lines so I don't thicken anything too early probably go back a bit further actually just a little bit more angled you know that that is more there because this angled thing kind of goes all the way down so I'm already liking how this is looking actually already. It's not even got anywhere yet. And this is too long, I, be I believe. It's actually a bit shorter. Looking at the image here. That bit's not quite so sticky out yet. Because the light goes here. So right in the middle there.
tube is coming on quite nicely, I think. And as I said, I don't have to do this because at the end of the day, the competition itself is finished. But um, what I like doing is, since the competitions are about more about, it's certainly in terms of the idea of the person who's doing them, it's more about us pushing ourselves artistically and just really breaking the mould of the envelope. It's nice to see how the concert would come out if I actually went for one of my other options or my other choices. Okay, so that's the under bit, that's this mouth part. Just one little extra level. That's the bit that links into that. Which is where the wheel comes in now. Yep. Now I think because the car kind of more of a round shape, I think that needs to be maybe just a little bit out, a little bit out more. And the same with this. Now if, I know what you're thinking, why am I not putting the holes of the, um, the wheels? That's coming. That is coming, but I wanted to get that, that right first, otherwise what will happen is I'll put the wheels in and it won't be in the right place. Okay, so, so the wheel holes are going to be here and here. Okay, so now, now I know where they're going, now I can give it a bit more, a bit more emphasis. I think it did that a bit too high there. There we go. There you go. So the body now is starting to take shape, which is good. And now I've got it, let's try and get this um, top part of the roof, top part of the bonnet looking right. thickening the line slightly I'm still trying to keep it so that it's not so thick that it takes away that it's going to be harder to rub away when, it, when the time comes now just notice that this is slightly off centre, so we find that a little bit more. And what I try and do is I try and hold back on the racing until I'm until I've adapted it somewhere or got a little bit of the. Um, until I'm certain I've got the lines in the right place, and then I move the other ones so I don't get distract, get misguided on it. All right. Okay, so now I can properly decide where these are going to go. 
I'm just going to draw two straight lines for now. There's no point doing those because there's nothing there to, to draw with. And right, let's refine these boxes a little. So they're virtually square. There will be a circle in there eventually, but I just want to make sure I'm getting the, the perspective the way it needs to be. So I don't know how much of this I'm going to get done today, but this is not it's not going to be done or finished all today, but it will be. I want to at least get some kind of concept going. And I've just realised, see this is why, I'm, why I've done it this way. Because if I've drawn the wheels in, it would have been harder. I need the wheel over a bit more. So I think it needs to be more here. Still not quite right. I'll tell you why. Because if okay, let me do this. This is probably what I should have done. Was add it. Like there's a box there. Yeah, you got it. What difference in that makes? So that's where the wheel should be. Right there. There we go. Now, now that's feeling more where it should be. Right, not quite there because that needs, needs to be higher up because it needs that needs to be the centre of the axle. So we're almost there. We need that to be the centre. As in the middle as I can get it. To make the wheels bigger because this is a monster truck, and then I need to make these wheels quite huge. Hmm, this isn't working quite as well as I'd hoped. Um, I know why, because I'm not making wheels anywhere near big enough. Okay. Um, 
try and make it a bit clearer where, where that is. Might help me to work out. The distance to the wheels, all hubs. Okay. So I know I'm being a bit silent, but I'm just trying to. Get it so that this wheel looks the right size and shape for the wheel. Okay, pink. I think that might be okay. What do you think? Is that big enough? It's not big enough, it just needs to be much, much bigger. I mean, the wheel needs to be massive. Hmm. Just trying to get it. I'm just struggling to try and get it the right size. Um, because monster trucks. I mean, the whole point of monster trucks is their um, their trucks is ridiculously oversized wheels on them and that's the effect I'm trying to get here and these wheels are just feeling like the same size wheels as I might have would normally have but only further out and that's not the effect I'm going for okay so I'm going to show these construction lines in the middle so I can see where I'm going and that one's wrong trying to keep in mind where the center is because the center is this bit here I'm just trying to keep that in mind when I'm doing this so that I'm not losing proportion I mean obviously if I'm doing this on Photoshop it'd be a totally different ball game it'd be a lot easier to work this out but I think that's one thing I'm doing wrong. I'm trying to do it that way instead of angled. So that's probably what's throwing me a bit. I think this would be this difficult. I know it's difficult, but I didn't expect it to be quite this extensively tough. I think I've got it. I think I finally broke it. Broke it, broke it, broke it.
Yeah. Yay! One down. Because I can always move this, I can always change the angle of that to down that way, so it's not the end of the world. So it's fine. Okay, so we've got the one wheel. Now let's get this other one down. This is how I normally do it, do it for the pencil line, but I'm trying to find a better way of getting it right because when you do it with pencil line, sometimes it doesn't always go the way you think it is. So, do it freehand, I mean, without putting a little box around it. But because I've got that one, I'm using that as a reference. All right. Okay. Now, still not ha totally happy with this roof bit. Feel like it's it's not quite the way it should be. That might just be just need to be higher. That bit needs to be higher. Okay, now now we're getting somewhere. All right. Okay, so we've got the light here. I'll tell you what, let me get rid of some of these construction lines. Now that we're now that we're sort of getting there. How long we got? We've got about half an hour before I'm going to call it a day. And it took a while to get this right. The drawing well, drawing cars is difficult anyway. Drawing cars. <laughs> In a specific angle, as I'm here, is really tough. Okay, move those ones as well. So, hopefully, you can sort of see the monster truck effect going on here. So, what I'm going to try and do now is just try and bring a bit more refined line work before I start going to level the pencil number two.
And so what I'm trying to do now is just trying to refine the shape a little bit before I add any kind of detail. What I'll probably do is I'll need to just rub out all of the construction lines once I've done this bit so that I've got a nice clean looking clean looking vehicle. Now I am changing this slightly only because I realise that there are few little um, issues with it. Now there's one line that comes down here. stops about there. Just realised his lights are in the wrong place, his lights should be down here. So it's starting to put in some of the detail now. Just some. Don't forget I've got to colour in, not colour in, but I've got to erase the lines in a minute. So I'm just trying to get the face lines in there. Okay, I'm not going to worry about all the finer details just yet. Get this basic shape in there. previous version of this I've put a bit more emphasis on some of the shapes make him look like he's laughing and smiling the Michael Knight Thank you. 
quite pleased that the base shape is, is there. Now this far one, I'm not quite so happy with it. I'll do it so it's sent that part is the cent as centre as I can get it. Oops. This is where it becomes tricky. So ellipses are tough. This is completely too small, but that's fine, we'll, we'll work that one out later. I've been learning a lot about um, perspective and trying to get it right and there's things I'm seeing more and more but where I didn't realise that part in the perspective it works a certain way. I know there is a technique to free to perspective but um, in my experience sometimes you have to throw the rule book out the window sometimes to make something work. So what works supposed to work according to the rules perspective don't actually work in reality. In, let's say this, that's just in my experience anyway. And what I mean by that is just because you're looking at it from one angle not, doesn't mean everything is at that angle. Things do change. Now Knight Rider has these little circle things here. So I'm just putting, plotting this in so that they're there. Right. And I think that's it. I think I see the problem is we off. For starters, it's in one place. I think it should be here. That's the first thing.
Right, I've got 20 more minutes, guys, and then um, I'm going to start wrapping up. Rub this out because this is definitely wrong. This one here is definitely wrong. No. Okay, I'm gonna start this bit again. Sorry. Now, I do try not to rub everything out and start again because I find I don't, it doesn't train me to work, work out and work through what's wrong with it. But, that wheel is definitely in the wrong place, looking at that. It's going to be somewhere more there, I think. I work exactly how far away and how big it's going to look. I think that one's fine here. Just trying to work out where this wheel is going to be. Where it should be and how big it should be. Hmm. Even this one should be a bit further back. Yeah, I'm just trying to work out where that wheel is going to go and I'm just struggling a minute to try and get it in the right place. Although, that is feeling like it might be right. I think that might be it. I think I'll have to do for now. shape right on these guys. Alright, 
Okay, so what I'm going to do then, just to finish this part off, and so we've got about 10 minutes before I'm going to say my farewells. I'm going to raise some of, try and raise some of these construction lines where I can, where it's not going to take away from my image, just to try and at least clean it up a bit. Because when I do the next stage, you know, I want to have be able to start adding detail. I want to know where I'm, where I'm putting the detail in the right place. Um, yeah, if you're watching this for the first time, uh, I'm doing, I will be, um, every time I reach a new streamer goal, I'll be doing a free digital art uh, that will send for, um, it's a digital file for people, and what it will be, it will be, depending on where, how many followers there are, that would be how many minutes that I'll spend on the actual artwork. Um, obviously there will, be a, there will be a cap on that at some, at some point. Um, but that's one of the goals I've had and I recently reached my my first five followers which is great so again if you're watching and you're one of those people that have joined uh, join my stream again thank you very much for the follow I do totally appreciate it I appreciate you supporting my stream as I try to get used to doing this sort of thing and sharing my artwork online and stuff like that um, and because I reached that first five goals um, I, did a, I, I did a drawing at the beginning of the stream that I'm going to offer out to the person who won the prize, which was uh, that random dude. So random art dude, beg your pardon. Um, so if you are watching, congratulations. Uh, I'll, I'll be sending it to you. Um, I'll show you that in just a moment, so you know what the picture is going to be like that you're going to be receiving. It's not a perfect picture because it's a only five minute drawing, but at least you know it's. They will get better as I do, as I spend more time on them. But you know, if you're doing a five minute join, you're not going to have much details. So just to show you, I'm going to let my tea get cold quickly. Okay. Let me see if I can find where it is. The one that I did. Yeah, so um, this is the one you're going to get random art. So this is the one we did. It was based off the jazz at Drawing Jazz at that. And basically, it was a five minute time, time drawing, and I had to draw a, war, a warlock or whatever, and um, just getting out of bed with a, with a mermaid's tail. So that's basically what, what I've done here. Um, so this is the drawing B. I will rub, rub out some of the lines so it's a bit cleaner, but this is basically the concept that I came up with. So this is what I'm going to be offering as a digital file. But as I said, going forwards, I'll spend more time on them. Okay, so for the next 10 minutes, let's try and add a bit of detail to this Knight Rider. So I'm going to go for my next pencil up, which should be 2H. Oh, that's a H. I don't want to use H yet. I want to use 2H. I think it's this one. Oh, that's a HB actually. Haha. -ha. Okay, so H, H it is then. Um, let's give this a bit of an erase. So now I'm going to just add just a touch of detail. I'm not going to detail this wheel yet because I still want to fix that. But the other ones I can start to work on. Okay, so this is where I'm going to reuse really my reference for Night Rider a bit more. Now I know Night Rider has a couple of um, roof effects, so let's get that in there.
Ayan, tap mo na. Now we'll see when I eat this in, that's when I'm going to put the super detail in there. In fact, um... Oh, that's fine, that's fine, fine. Because... It's got this little bit here. Which links into the right. Just trying to keep it so that it's, it fits all together nicely. The good thing about Night Rider compared to some cars is there's not many curves on it, so there's a lot of straight lines, which I kind of like. It's one of the things I like about Lamborghinis, although it's, there's a lot of curves on it, it's predominantly quite straight and not too many bumps on it. Night Rider's not much different than that, although it's even less curvy. I'm just trying to make these lines really solid. Now, I'm adding this thing on here just to indicate suspension. Now, it might not be the most accurate looking suspension in the world, and for that, I apologise, but. Just being inventive here. In fact, probably didn't do that quite right. because you have to circle around the, um, the ring yeah. kind of messed up a little bit but it's still only pencil so it's not all is not lost just yet Artistic license going on here now. I'm not sure what car that is, that's awful sound. I'm sure that's not right. I 
right, five more minutes guys and I'm going to be calling it. Might not seem we've got a lot done but this is, Zillit is a car that does exist. I have to do, you know, do it justice and do it, do it properly. Even though I'm going to you know, change it up a bit in terms of just getting the design different. Edit some features that are not on it, not on the original version. I'm happy with that wheel though. I think that wheel works. I'm only doing this, drawing it this way because I want that wheel to work. today I think we've done without messing with this one I'm sure I haven't got as many holes in that as it is in the series but Finish up in just a moment. Okay, one last thing I need to just do, just so that it's there and it's in, you know, it's in the car itself. I wouldn't do it justice if I didn't do this, based on who the car is. Oh, actually, I need to bring that in a bit more, don't I? is the old lights and there you have it so so it's not finished but that's my concept just to remind you to get the um, so that was the original concept idea Picture again, 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 again. And that was the original actual design work I done on the previous version of him. Whoops, stay still. While I'm still happy with that, I'm happier with this this style of it. So that's where we so we've gone from this to this. And I, I personally like the design of this one really, really well. And had I more had more time for the competition, this probably would have been a better option. So, um, firstly, just want to say thank you very much for watching. Those who have and patient, been patient with me, um, so I'm streaming with my phone, so it kept cutting out. So I apologise for that. Congratulations to um, Vander Mark Dude, as you won the, my um, my uh, digital five-minute drawing piece, which I'll send to you shortly. 
Um, again, if anyone's watching for the first time, um, I'm doing, when I reach 10 followers, I will do a 10 minute drawing, which will be better, it should be better than this one, because I'll have a bit more time on it. That said, for five minutes, that's still not bad. Um, and you know, I might, I might even eat that in for next time round, but who knows. But um, thank you very much for watching. Let's see if there is anybody on. So let me quickly just check if there's anyone I can send you to. Uh, that's me. Uh, let me think, think, think. Right, the guy called One D Chan. I'll be honest with you, I've not really watched his artwork, but from what I've seen, he's, he's fairly decent. So I'm going to try and see if I can. Send you to him. Oh, sorry, Wildcat, missing your message. Um, I do apologise, I didn't see that earlier. It didn't pop up on my screen. But thanks for your message. Um, and no problem, that's, that's totally fine. Right, um, now can I do it from. Oh, actually, I think I can do it this way, can't I? Hold the phone. Yeah, so um, a guy called 1D Tran. His artwork looks fairly decent, but. Um, Earth Dragon, hey, thanks so much for the host. You're most welcome, mate. Um, enjoy, hope you enjoy your stream. I hope you enjoyed my stream today. I will try and get these streams better and better as it goes along, and when I can get my, okay. my digital machine to work, I will come on to that. I will start using that more. But thanks for watching. Appreciate you taking the time to watch me, and uh, until the next time, I will be seeing you. Bye-bye now. Well, there you have it. This is my recreation of the Knight Rider piece. As you can see, my original concept was more of a beach buggy, uh, rugged kind of gun and sand dunes kind of a vehicle with lots of weapons and things like that. That was my original idea for it. The reason I chose to, this, um, not to do this one rather than the tank is long term it felt more com too complicated for the length of time I had for the competition. And I didn't really have enough time to really work out exactly how the wheel was going to fit and everything else. So I opted for the slightly easier version of a of a tank, which I was even though it's still complicated, there's a lot more, there's a lot less detail in the tank than there is in this one. But I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, feel free to give it a thumbs up and share with people that might enjoy this content. And if you haven't done already, don't forget to click that big red subscribe button down below so you don't miss the next episode on my channel. And lastly, make sure that your notification bell is set correctly so that you are immediately notified when a video goes live or I've got a new video out for you guys to, to enjoy. But thanks again for watching, really appreciate you taking the time and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.